Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode number 13, and as always, I am Shane with CodeKarate.com, and today we're going to be going over the web form module again. And, but this time we're not going to focus on building out web forms. We're actually going to talk about how to theme the actual display of a web form. And I do apologize if you tried to watch this episode a few days ago. We were having some audio difficulties, but... I'm re-recording the audio now. So, why might you want to display the output or theme the output of a web form? If you need to change the actual structure of the HTML around the web form field elements that are displayed, then this can be useful. In this example, we're actually going to go over how to theme the web form so it shows up in more of like a paragraph type format but this can be used in, of course, many other examples. So we have a very simple contact form here that we created in a past Daily Dose of Drupal episode. You can go ahead and watch those if you haven't already. So we'll log in here. And you can see we have this very basic contact form. And as I mentioned before, we really want to just change the output of this a little bit to make it structured in such a way that it almost flows with text around it in a paragraph type form. And there's um, many examples of forms like this on the internet. Uh, you want to open up the theming.txt file and you can see there's a whole bunch of th information on how to theme web forms, but we're, what we really want to focus on is how to theme the display of the entire web form. So we want to copy the web form.tpl.php file from your web form directory and you want to put that into your theme. So as you can see here we have the webform.tpl.php file and that's inside the templates folder. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to drop that into my theme. And in this case I'm using the default Drupal theme, the Drupal 7 theme. So we're going to make sure we need to drop that in the actual core Drupal theme. I wouldn't recommend doing this. I'd recommend making sure you do this in a custom theme or you know a, a copy of the theme rather than dropping it in because if you update your Drupal version it's not going to work. So I'm going to drop this in the 7 theme. Go ahead and paste that in there. You can see it's now copying the webform.tpl.php file into the core Drupal 7 theme. And we'll go ahead and we'll now rename that file using the node ID. So what we did there is we went and we grabbed the node ID from the webform. In this case we we're using node 13 and now that we have renamed that file we will go ahead and we will open that up and keep in mind for any node ID or any web form that you want to theme, you're going to have to find the node ID and make a copy of this webform.tpl.php file. So we'll open up our node 13 web form that we want to theme. You can see it's just a copy of the webform.tpl.php file. And we're going to just display a print statement with the form so we can see what is available to us. we'll go ahead and we will clear the cache using Drush just to uh, make sure that the template file will get picked up and we will refresh the page and it doesn't seem to be doing anything so what we need to do here is debug this a little bit and it turns out that 7 is actually the administration theme not the actual default Drupal 7 theme. So we need to make sure we copy that template into the Bartik theme. So that was just a mistake on my part. We'll go ahead and copy that over now. So go into the Bartik theme, copy over our 
what our customized web form dash 13.tpl.php file we can go ahead and get rid of that old one since we no longer need that so now we will open up our new version that's in the correct theme this time It's taking a little bit of time loading here, but we'll get it opened up. We'll go into the themes Bartik folder and open our web form dash thirteen dot tpl dot php file. And now if we refresh we still don't have anything because we haven't cleared the cache yet. So we'll clear the cache again to make sure our template file is picked up now we'll refresh and we will be able to see our output of the form variable and this form variable contains a whole bunch of stuff and this is basically everything that outputs the web form you notice there's a submitted array which is one of the most important things that the web form outputs for us in the form variable it has the name email address field and message field that we can then render where we want in our template. So what we're going to do is we're going to just type out some HTML and we're going to manually render a few of these fields. And like I said, I'm just going to show how this could be used in a, just kind of like a, a fluid paragraph type format. But you could obviously do this or change the HTML structure however you wanted to make the the web form look as you need it. One of the things to keep in mind is most of the time with web forms you might be able to get away with just using some CSS around the web form to make it look the way you need it rather than actually having to modify the template. But this is for when you actually need to change the actual structure of the HTML around the the web form. So I just added a div and a span here and it says hello my name is and I am using a little PHP snippet to print Drupal render and then the form variable the submitted array that we just looked at and then the name field and now I'll add some more text and say and you can contact me at and now we're going to go ahead and print out that email field So we'll add a PHP snippet again, printing out the Drupal render. This time it'll be the email field from that form variable. And then we will go ahead and print out the message. And now keep in mind this isn't really a practical example in this case because I'm going to need to do a lot more to actually get this to look the way I want it to but this will at least give you an idea of how you can structure HTML and move the fields around inside the HTML and render them where you need them because in this case you could do some of the stuff with labels and things like that So we'll comment out our form variable. We printed out the message and now you can see we do have our HTML in there. It says hello my name is the name field and then you can contact me at oh it looks like we're missing the email address. So we'll go ahead and get the debug statement back there and we'll find the email. That's email underscore address not just email so we'll fix that and then we will go ahead and look at that again we need to comment out our print statement now you can see the email addresses in there 
It says, hello, my name is, name, you can contact me at, and then it drops the email address field in, and then here's my message. Now what I would obviously do in this example is I would, um, either using some additional theme functions or some form alter functions, I would hide the label or in the description field, or you could also do quite a bit with CSS in this to get those fields the correct size and floated right next to the text. I would probably enlarge the text quite a bit. And basically the main goal being making it look like a fluid paragraph with fields that the user can then fill in. And this is just to make it a nice looking form and you've probably seen it across the web and other places where it looks like it's part of a paragraph rather than um, just a traditional web form. You can see it was just a little bit, a uh, little snippet of code. You want to make sure you keep the Drupal render form submitted at the bottom as well as the other uh, Drupal render children and put your put any of your HTML above that. And there's a whole bunch of things in the theming.txt file inside the web form module. So you can do much more than just theme the uh, just theme the form, but that's it for this time. So you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. And thanks again for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal and go ahead and check out my other videos on codekarate.com. Thank you.